Now, someone else has decided to give us some controversial bits of information about his life, and yet again, unprompted, unsolicited, he just spewed that story is none other than Chipukizi. Now, Chipukizi has gone on a very interesting. Um, Basically, his whole life has been interesting, especially with his relationships and his public life. It's been a very interesting life, you know, uh, a little bit of politics here and there, a little bit of show um, entertainment here and there. It's, it's been a full cup for him. But now he's decided to give us information again, unsolicited, unprompted, and probably unwanted. According to Chipukizi, he came from a family of seven different wives to one man. That was his father, had seven wives. And so for that reason, he feels like he needs to propel this further and become a polygamous man as well. He said, this is not to say that he's going to try and trap a woman and then force polygamy on them. He says that he does not want to have a situation where he's married someone and the next thing he knows is his first wife or his second wife is on social media telling us about, by the way, you guys Guys, let me tell you he says he's literally going to be um, honest from the from the get-go and he will continue to push this agenda because it is what he wants to do he said for a fact he is not a man uh, a one woman man he will have multiple wives hmm. I mean do you boo boo but um, ultimately he says it's the analogies for me usually these men who have these very interesting um, uh, interesting perspectives tend to have the, the the most the most wanting metaphors he said <clears throat> it's what uh it's that whole soda thing coca-cola nitamu kama tu fanta but sometimes you and then he did a thing with the with the hands to indicate you know i'm just like boy first of all anyway he continued to say many other things, including um, that I think as long as you're able to take care of your people, you can always have your people. So I believe that I am able to have a family and want to extend it to another one. And I want many children. I want a legacy uh, to stand. I want my legacy to stand tall. And I think this goes back to the narrative of people claiming that children are supposed to be your legacy. No, you are supposed to be your legacy. Let me ask you a question. We all know Nelson Mandela. Do you know his children? Do you even know their names? We all know Wangari Mathai. Do you know her children? Do you know their names? We all know Albert Einstein. We all know Elon Musk. Do you know his children? Do you know anything about their lives? We all know Bob Collymore. And, and so many, like the list goes on. Your children are no legacy. You create your own legacy. You create your own name. You propel your name into, um, into eternity by making something of your life. You don't have to have children to, and to continue your legacy because at the end of the day, you are entitled to, and you are obliged to making your life what, it wants to, what it's supposed to be and in that way creating a legacy for yourself. I'm not saying children are bad. I'm not saying people shouldn't have children. All I'm saying is this this pressure you give to your own children by saying, no, you are my legacy, is a lot of pressure. It's, it's leading to a lot of problems in families simply because you didn't um, fulfill your own life expectations. Now you want to prop them onto your children, which is completely unfair. Anyway, that's just my whole stance when it comes to this legacy nonsense and you, you having children being your legacy. That's just a whole thing all by, by itself. Um, however, the same story and stereotype of saying my father was a polygamist and therefore I should be a polygamist is also a non-issue. Why is that information you want to tell us? And in addition to that, why is that something you feel like you need to, pro to prolong? We've all seen how complicated polygamous families are. And as time moves on, we see how it's easier and simpler to just have the one wife. This argument was not made well. Mm -hmm um however it's it really truly is your life do we advocate for it do i personally advocate for polygamy of course not but do you as an individual have the right to do whatever the hell you want to do with your life absolutely would i recommend that you do absolutely not and that is where i stand with this particular story my take on this story is very violent because I'll just I'll just say it. Short people, short people. The Napoleon complex. It's the Napoleon it's complex. Yep. You feel the need to overcompensate in every area of your life because why was that necessary? Absolutely. Why not. did you feel the need to tell us all of this? You know, if you're <coughs> such a private person and so mature, you know, we did not need to hear a 
any of this, you know. You could have had your family, you could have had your many wives secretly, you know, or privately, not necessarily secretly, but privately. You could have done all these things without the need to come on cameras and thump your chest and say, I have the ability of having many wives. Mm -hmm. I actually have many wives. Who asked you? Nobody. Who asked you? Nobody. Once again, short people and the Napoleon complex. Yeah. Actually, we used to be friends with Chifu Kiz. It's a young. Anyway. It's a la vie. It's a as in? What was that? Mm. So embarrassing. It really is. And it, it, you know, every time you have faith in the, in the male gender, they do something like this. Mm. And essentially, as I say it, I, I will continue to say it, the problem with men is audacity. If you take audacity out of the room in which men are, life will be so beautiful. Mm. So beautiful.